Hey YouTube, it's David from mdbootstrap.com. In this video, I'm going to show you 22 websites which you must know as a web developer. So watch this video till the end and let me know down below in the comments what else should I add to this list and let's build this list together. So you're going to find the link in the description down below to the repository where you can add your proposals and let's build this list together. And now without further ado, let's jump into the list. I have organized the links in a category so it will be easier for us to browse through them but obviously there are some pages which are basically somewhere in between the first category i have for you are blogs socials and magazines and i would like to start with a dev2 so a dev2 is a kind of a blogging platform for developers where you can create account and start uh, writing your articles you're gonna find here hundreds of hundreds very valuable articles which might be useful at certain time so definitely you want to read it maybe at certain point of time you might even add something to the community by adding your article on some subject if i ask you which website is most commonly used by web developers i'm pretty sure that most of you would say it's stack overflow and you're probably right this amazing q a platform and even more amazing community proven many times to be safe living solution for many of us and if you happen to find solution to your very unique issue by some developer added three years back you know what i'm talking about Talking about the magazines, one of my favorite ones is a Smashing Magazine. And it's not only about the web development itself, but you're also going to find a lot of interesting information about the design or usability. So if you don't know it, check this out. Next on the list, CSS tricks. I'm pretty sure that you've been here, even if you didn't notice that very often when you try to Google how to do something, you might end up in one of their articles on how to do that thing. The next one is falling into multiple baskets. Uh, so you could say it's more about learning, but I actually found it more on the social edge. And this is because uh, except for the learning new stuff, you can also compete with others. So Code Wars, the platform I'm talking about, allows you to learn something new every day. Uh, so as you can see, you're gonna find a task to do here. Your role is obviously to solve the task, so you can play with it, but except for just the solving the task and giving the right answer to it, uh, you are also competing with others because once you solve the task, you're going to see uh, the other solutions and you're also going to compete on who solution is actually better, which one is shorter, which is more performing. So if you don't know it, check this out. Next category is Docs knowledge and standards. I'm quite sure that you might accidentally end up at MDN website at a certain point of time if you right clicked on something or just press Ctrl and clicked on some command while coding your web app. But obviously this is not why is it so famous. The reason why is actually because this is probably the biggest documentation in the internet for HTML, CSS and JavaScript with more than 13,000 pages you're gonna find documentation for each and every function you may possibly use. So if you want to check how given function works simply find it on MDN web docs and go through the docs. The next very useful page which I use often is Can I Use? As the name suggests, this site allows you to check whether the given CSS property is supported by different web browsers. Let's have a look at this example. So CSS Cascade Layers is only supported by the newest Firefox, Chrome and Safari. So if your project is required to work on a different web browsers, like for example Opera, you should definitely avoid using CSS Cascade Layers, at least for now. The last one on the list is a very simple yet so powerful. It's a new HTML checker. So basically, once you are done with your page, it's just wise to check whether it was coded according to the standards. If it's not, you're going to see the clear list of all things which you should fix. Next category is tooling. Let me start with two pages which are similar yet different. The first one, CodePen.io, you should probably stumble upon. This site allows you to easily code with a web browser. The same applies to the stackblitz.com, which supports more complex environment. But basically, the idea is the same. You can simply create the whole app without moving out of the browser and code your app just using your web browser. The next on the list is browser stack. This offers a lot, but the most important part is that it allows you to test your website 
on different devices without actually having them. What you have to do is simply provide the website which you want to test and then choose device and a browser which you want to test it with. Within a few seconds, you're going to see how your website looks at the real not simulated device and test whether it's looking good on all device which is supposed to support. Although the browser stack is a great tool, I need to mention it's not free. Therefore, if you are looking for the free alternative to start with, you can check Lambda Test, which offer you a free tire. Another simple yet so useful tool is Color CO, which allows you to both generate or browse the thousand of existing color palettes, which you can use for your next project. Talking about the small yet very useful tools, Hopscotch is definitely one of these. Simply provide the URL, choose your method, and then hit send. Obviously, you can add extra parameters, body, headers, and so on, but basically, you don't need to install anything to start working with the APIs. The next category is learning. Let me start with this small disclaimer here, because there are many websites, other than listed here, which are worth adding, and we can do it on our repository. For purpose of this video, I just choose two, which I like the most. The first, starting with the Free Code Camp, which is absolutely free tool to start learning multiple languages. And the other one, which I like, is Udemy, where you're going to find a lot of different uh, tutorials. The reason I'm listing two of them is basically essential difference in the approach. While all the courses which I went through from Recodecam are really great, they are still coming from the single organization, while Udemy is a marketplace where you're going to find courses from different authors. So if you want one more over the other, then you can simply stick with the author which you like the most. I need to add that uh, most of the tutorials here are paid. However, very often you can get a really nice discount of the course and sometimes they are also offering them for free. Talking about tutorials, obviously we cannot forget about the YouTube, which is an amazing source for great tutorials. Talking about that, don't forget to check our channel on YouTube where you're gonna find hundreds of different tutorials absolutely for free. Moving forward, I would like to mention two very specific, but in my opinion, amazing tools. One will let you learn a Git, one will teach you how to use Git with the old visualization so you could really understand what, for example, Rebase is. And the other, which looks like it was designed probably 20 years back, but still offers you a tremendous amount of knowledge, is sql-x.ru, which will teach you how to use SQL queries. If you know others, let me know down below in comments or add them directly to our repository. Talking about design, we cannot mention Dribble, which is an amazing source for a different design. So if you're looking for the inspiration, you should definitely start here. From a slightly different angle, I would also encourage you to check awards.com, which shows you which page received certain type of award and can guide you to what is trending right now. And finally, the most important page for the web developer, which is obviously Google. And I'm not kidding here, because knowing how to Google your issue is a really important skill. I hope you enjoyed the list from my side. This is my favorite 20-ish. And if you think that there is something which is definitely missing, let me know down below in the comments or add it directly to our repository. You're going to find the link to the repository in the description down below. And if you like what we are doing here, please don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to this channel. That's going to help us a lot to grow our channel even further. Thank you for watching and keep coding.